If you guys need anything that has to do with online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA, 100% legit and reliable. So be sure to click that link in the description and hit them up now. Yesterday, I actually received multiple comments from you guys asking me to make a video, basically saying like, what would I, or how could I, you know, make a successful, have a successful team really in my team if I just started. Like a lot of people apparently are just starting this game, kind of preparing themselves for next year. And I really didn't want to make like a starter guide really at, at this point, because again, it is July. So as far as a starter guide goes, I mean, the best thing I can tell you guys to do is just grind XP and that'll give you a really good start to this game and everything. But what I wanted to do was make a video. I actually made this video last season talking about how to get invincibles without spending a dime. You guys really like that video. So I'm going to make the same style video here, but this time it is going to be about how to get end game cards without spending a dime here in my team. So first things first, obviously the no brainer answer. I could just sit here and tell you guys, yeah, you know what? You guys just want to go to the auction house. You guys want to put end game as your snipe filter and then slap on that 500 and go to town. Hopefully one of them pops up. I'm not going to tell you guys to do that. That is just not like, obviously like, yes, it is a good thing, but I'm going to kind of work your, your help you guys work your way through really getting a good start here in my team. So if you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys get 200 likes on this video, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a stream tomorrow where we are going to be giving away either an end game Yao Ming or an end game Giannis Antetokounmpo. So 200 likes by tomorrow and you guys will definitely get that. So first things first say you just started my team or say that you know you kind of hit rock bottom in my team maybe you blew all your mtm packs and you're like i need a fresh start right now show me the way how am i working my way towards invincible cards first things first i'm going to tell you guys skill challenges are a good place to start you guys can see the nba 2k 23 challenge it gives you 23 tokens but there's also other stuff that you get like a hoff badge diamond shoe all this other stuff this challenge is really good and it does give you a lot of good rewards that is going to give you a decent start here in my team so make sure you guys do that right out the gate i'm not going to tell you guys to do the spotlights for joel and bead because let's be honest who is grinding those challenges to that point like nobody okay what I will tell you guys to do, these three challenges right here, Giannis and Yao Ming, Melo and LaMelo Ball, and Shaq and Kobe Bryant, do all these three challenges. You guys do get a free end game pack here that does contain these guys. You never know what you guys can pull out of them, so I highly recommend starting off with these challenges and everything like that. Pickup challenges are pretty good too. They still do have the end game packs that are featured. So again, it's a three minute quarter challenge. This is really good to go ahead and stack up XP so you guys can earn extra rewards through the leveling up system as you are getting another free end game pack. If you guys are looking for cheap MT, whether it's on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, or Switch, all you have to do is go to the site NBA2KKing.com and they will gladly hook you up with the cheapest prices on the market. All you have to do is click whatever option you want, go to your coupon code, and type in Bio2K for a 5% discount. They actually walk you guys through exactly how to do this, so be sure to go hit them up now. As far as spotlights go, signature challenge goes, activity challenge, like all that is good. They have good rewards, but I want to teach you guys to be efficient with your time, not really worrying about these challenges, especially this late into the year. The other ones are good because they're really short and they're really easy to do. Game modes, okay? The number or the next thing I want to show you guys, triple their online, triple their offline. These two modes are filled with dark matters that you guys are able to sell. Vince Carter is still going for a good amount. He is in the vault as well as the dark matter Zion Williamson. Two guards that are two cards that again are pretty nice to try to be able to pull. On triple the online, you do have Bo Ball and Vince Carter as well as Jamal Crawford. So a lot of guys here again that you guys can be selling for easy and quick MT to kind of get yourself started at least triple the online is still the best game mode in my opinion to grind mainly because of all the different tiers there is good rewards throughout all the tiers that will just make you easy and quick mt i actually talked about this yesterday in my mt video so i don't want to like full-blown go in depth with that again uh mainly because again you know i literally just covered that limited is really really good it's something that i think you guys should be looking to grind as well they have been throwing a lot of prime packs in there like a lot of good promo packs a lot of these end game packs are in there diamond contracts diamond shoes a lot of good stuff in limited again giving you a little bit of a head start or a little bit of a boost i should say in my team now if you guys are looking to just build up mt and really just avoid playing the game because that's how a lot of you guys are completely understand that one filter is definitely this right here the grizzlies snipe filter this snipe filter is really really good the value on them did crash a little bit yesterday and you guys can see the value is actually going back up which is really really good so 
4,000 MT, you guys can see, or 4,000 plus MT, I should say, is what these guys are going for at a minimum, which is really good. So this snipe filter is going to be the best budget filter you guys can use. Literally put 500 MT, and then I would put 2,500, and just snipe. Anything that shows up is going to be an immediate almost 2,000 MT profit. And that's going to help you guys start building your MT a lot here in this game, which is really solid. Another really good snipe filter. Again, throughout the weekend, people are going to be doing pack openings. People are going to be throwing up snipes on their streams. Every single time, people are just going to be doing a lot of easy stuff here. And you guys can see, I don't even have any MT to snipe this, but we literally could get a Jade and Ivy snipe. Actually, this has been, uh, there's 21 minutes left. No shot I would have gotten this. But you guys can see my point. You guys will be able to land snipes like this that will be able to help you succeed and build up MT here in this game so again make sure you guys are doing this i don't know why that jade and ivy stuck sometimes that does just happen regardless though make sure you guys are taking the time doing the dark matter dark matter cheapest filter that'll help you out as well by building up easy mt and everything like that and again that will ultimately lead you guys to getting these end game cards i do know that they are going for really high amounts of mt and everything which does suck again i did look at them in my last video these guys are going for absurd amounts still but this is how you guys get a good start here and start building up your MT and everything like that. Also, the final thing I do want to mention here in this video is the My Team Anniversary Set. A prime example of this is going to be a guy like Kobe Bean Bryant and Shaq. These are guys that are really good to look to invest in. When these guys first drop, okay, they go for literally nothing, okay? I showed this in my last video. Giannis and Yao Ming both of these guys, both of the anniversary guys are going for literally 10,000 MT. It's happened with Kobe. It happened with LaMelo and Carmelo. These guys start out with a really, really cheap price. And you guys can see, again, tons of Giannis is up for really cheap. These sets do lock in for a free end game card towards the end of the season. So one week in, I'm just going to show this to you guys again. So this is just one week, like literally one week in. This Kobe Bryant went from being 10K MT to literally doubling in price and going for around 20,000 MT, which is really, really good. So I'm going to show you guys again, just really quick with the My Team, uh, where is it? The My Team anniversary stuff. Again, price skyrocketed up to 20, well, I don't want to say skyrocketed, but it jumped back up to around 20,000 MT. And that's 10K profit, 8K profit, depending on how you want to sell it per Kobe. So if you guys look to invest in, like say you guys got 10 of these, for 10k you just made another 100k on top of your initial investment these guys are really good to look to flip and i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and do this do this every weekend too like it's going to be a really good investment strat that you guys can look to go ahead and do like for instance tuesday again we are going to be getting the replacement packs for these guys lamello and mellow it's not going to be these guys it'll be two more uh, or two different players there and because of that again you guys are going to see those two guys drop in price and these two guys start going up in price and that is how you guys are going to be able to look to flip cards and you know definitely start building a really solid team so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy if these tips did help you out kill the like button subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and yeah peace